obviously a lot of the platforms that we know and use every day have come from the US or from Canada, but it's a, a very diverse market as well. You've really got to know your cities. And this is not just the difference between New York and San Francisco. It's, it's what ha, what's the messaging you're going to run in Chicago versus in Houston, Texas versus wherever. Which platforms are you going to use? What's your, are you targeting a professional demographic? Is LinkedIn the platform that you're going to be using to target them rather than Facebook? Or is it going to be a combination of both? What sort of channels, what sort of ad type? All of those are considerations. Everything is on the table in North America. And that's one of the exciting things about the, the, the market for companies like IBM, who we've run campaigns for, or for you know, education providers who are looking to recruit students out of or even into those markets you know, from onshore students. One other thing to remember about markets like or market like North America is the socioeconomic demographic tendencies that we see in other parts of the world apply as, you know, as a, more, more than ever in a market like North America. So take, for example, iOS usage versus Android usage. If you look at a heat map, um, there are many online that you'll see a heat map of iOS users versus Android users in, in, in New York or in LA or in San Francisco. The more wealthy pockets of every city are dominated by iOS. Um, and that's just a fact. Whether you're an Android user or a, you know, an iOS user, as a marketer, as a digital marketer, you, know, you need to be across that kind of, that kind of fact. And if you're, if you're pitching a product or service that is going to appeal to a more wealthy demographic than targeting iOS users in San Francisco or in LA or in New York or in Toronto is going to bring more results than if you run a blanket campaign without that kind of level of filtering. The US and Canada obviously have their similarities, but as they're the first to remind you, are very different from each other, different mentality. Um, the US in particular, from certainly from our experience of running you know, dozens of campaigns for several different companies in that region, the US, uh, they like to be sold to. Data is freely available. You know, people are willingly give up their data um, compared to other parts of the world, the, the, the data privacy laws are a lot less stringent than they are. So your targeting uh, potential in those markets is, is enormous. And as I say, whether that's on a platform like Facebook or on LinkedIn, um, the data available is, is, from a marketer's perspective, is, um, is, is, uh, is very exciting.